turn to play. Uh, Dougie Bell, one of our brightest young amateurs. We saw him on Channel 4 in 1983, winning a junior ABA title. And last year, he won an NABC title. Now, this boy can hit, so Paul Jones, beware. But Dougie, not of his best tonight. You can see that Jones has a longer reach, and he's managing to smother Bell as he comes inside. Jones clipped with a right hand then, made him blink. Bell continues to swarm forward. End of the second. Great, listen, box him all the time, nothing. If he wants to lie on his tip, you keep working until the referee says break. Well, right. I wonder what Come Doggy's on. Uncle Mick thinks. Plenty of action in that round. Yeah, I think Doug come through that one a bit better than he did the first round there. Uh, yeah, I think he, um, he got to his target a few yeah, more times he there, did, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he sort of got a bit better distance on himself now. Yeah, yeah I think, as you say, the, um, the Sheffield lad here, he's a bit of a spoiler, isn't he? He's um, yeah. claiming and holding a little bit, but he, um, he knows the game. It's the last round, and we're watching Dougie Bell of Newcastle in red and Paul Jones of Sheffield in blue. Like I say, Bell not at his best tonight, by any manner of means, against a tall, awkward opponent who's fought. Not a bad fight, Paul, Paul Jones. But uh, I rather fancy that Dougie Bell's work rate will be enough to clinch this contest for him. Shall we dance? The contest drawing to a close now. Bell pays the penalty for careless use of the head. A public warning, and that could mean a point off his score. There's the end. And it'd certainly be a feather in Paul Jones' cap if he got this one, because Dougie Bell's lost only three times in 39 bouts. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I think he got that. Yeah, wasn't one of his best bats, though, was Oh, it? no, no. We'll just see, you got a lad in that comes in, he spoils a bit. It's, it's stuck yeah. like boxing to what they can. Yeah. And uh, I think there's two tired lads in there at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a good bat, all action, but it yeah. just got a wee bit scrappy at places, it. didn't it? They got tied up, I yeah. think, you know, um, the shuffle boy being tall and gangling, they uh, they just got mixed up with each yeah. other a bit. But, um, I don't know, I wouldn't like to judge that one myself. I think we'll have to see, we'll leave this one to the judges, I think. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of that contest by a majority decision, Jones in the blue corner. Well, that public warning for Bell in the last round just did it, perhaps, the and Sheffield the notch up their first win. Red 57, blue 60, red 57, blue 59, red 59, blue 58. Well, here we have the two lads just out of the ring. How did, how did you find this guy? Strong, strong. He was itching most of the time. Hustling all the time, yeah. Uh -huh. So, but you looked as though you had a little touch of the Errol Graham, uh, Graham Errols there, didn't you? You was, uh... Well, more like my idol, uh, Cassius Clay. Oh, he's your idol, is he? Yeah. Oh, I think I've talked to this fellow now. <laughs> I like him better than you. <laughs> now, what's happened here? Now, you lost, 
Um, Are you giving all that spiel about the championships as you had and all that? What happened? Well, I thought I'd done enough there. Yes? Well, so you want to return, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your best of pals, haven't you? Well, yeah. Shake hands. There you what? are. Look at that. My God. Look, now give yourself a kiss. God, no. Get away, get away.